Hi, Scott Lander here with Keller Williams Realty. Thanks for joining me on my video blog. Today we're going to be discussing new construction process of purchasing a home. But before we do, I'd like to draw your attention to the two links below. One, if you're looking to buy a home, click the uh, home buyer link and that'll take you to all the homes in Mojave County that you can view. And second, if you're looking to sell a home, you can click the home seller link to get a current value on your home. So today on our video blog, I want to discuss uh, an exciting topic um, right now with new construction is starting to really take off in our market and uh, markets across the country. And it has been taking off in some areas for a while now. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. And um, one of the main reasons is lack of inventory and the fact that values have risen enough um, in the past few years to allow the builders to be able to build again and make a profit. Um, so with the lack of inventory and lack of homes on the market for residential resale, um, it's pushed the demand for new construction because people don't really have any options on the market to purchase. But when you're buying a new home, there's just a few basic things that are important to watch out for. Uh, number one, when you purchase a new home, um, you want to make sure that if the home isn't finished yet, that you have a list of items that the builder's going to agree to finish. Um, properly and you want to know what's going to be going in the house. Um, you know, all the builders in our area are very honest and, and have very good reputations, but it's just always important to get a good meeting of the mind to understand, you know, the level of, of granite that's going in and the type of cabinets and the colors and just get a full understanding just to avoid a, a lack of um, issues towards the end. Um, number two, you want to make sure that as the home's being built, you're careful as you're walking through the property. Uh, you want to make sure that you're there with a representative, either the builder or your real estate agent, and you have permission. Uh, there's construction going on. You can get hurt. You can step on nails. You can have something fall on you. You can trip and really do a lot of different things, and there's liability there. So make sure that that's set up. Um, three, you really want to make sure that uh, you do a very thorough walkthrough. And in some cases, I would even advise getting an inspection on the home after it's completed. You know, you want to make sure that the home has the items that, um, number one, you agreed to have put in the home, but number two, you wanna make sure that uh, everything's functioning properly because it's easy for contractors to miss things um, and maybe just not even turn on a valve properly like the, the gas valve in the attic for the heater, um, stuff like that, and then you go to turn on your heater three months later and it's not firing up and you're frustrated. So it's good just to do a thorough inspect on everything and uh, make sure uh, steps weren't accidentally forgotten and, um, and last, when, when you move into the house, there's a lot of um, important things, but I, I tend to encourage the customers that you're gonna find little things that go wrong with the house uh, on a new construction um, from time to time. So I encourage you to make a list if it's not urgent of you know the few things that you find and uh, get that list together and give it to the contractor a week or two into the house so they can come fix all everything at once. Um, you know, there's little things that pop up here and there on a new build uh, that you just maybe everyone missed or, or even the inspector missed. So try to just get them all out there at once and we'll give you the contact information for the either subcontractors or the builder to contact at the end. So it's an exciting time. New construction is awesome. You can get brand new houses for similar prices as resale. These are just a few helpful hints that will help you through that process. So thanks for taking the time to join me today.